Hello my darlings and welcome back to my channel and to another video. If you're new here, what took you so long? Please subscribe. Duh. <laughs> but guys, honestly, I would love for you to subscribe if you don't mind. That would be lovely. And today I'm going to talk to you about the faves and fails of last month. Months. Okay. Um, as the title suggests. I have fragrances, obviously, but I also have a couple of makeup products that you should definitely stay away from or you should definitely run, don't walk, get it. So maybe I will start with the biggest shite ever to me. And this has uh, caused so much drama on, uh, I don't know, YouTube, but TikTok for sure. I don't watch TikTok, but I've heard. Okay, I'm I'm I don't live in the cave, uh, but I got it because I was curious and I was running out of mascara anyway. And you know I always have lash extensions, but I do need mascara for my lower lashes. So I got the very infamous Telescopic Lift mascara from L'Oreal. And when I first wore it when i first applied it i was really happy because it does have a very nice wand and it was super easy for me to you know get into those small lashes and like right in there to just make my lashes tensions more presentable for the video but guys this is le leaving prints like a panda i look like a panda after five minutes and it never happens to me okay just to be clear it never happens to me no matter what mascara i use it never ha happens i always powder my under eye area so you know there's nothing uh, wet or gooey going on there no i have always always my uh, eyelids powdered so no chance and it still gives me a panda so very unhappy about it super duper unhappy about it um you know now that i tested it i feel like it really is a sham because what mascara leaves a panda these days honestly if you've tested it let me know but for me it's shite true shite nice one but other than that it's shite another thing that i'm very unhappy with alien from Mugler <laughs> uh, and that's because this is the newest formula okay I've had it for a while but it's the newest newest one and guys uh, I've had like maybe this much and now I'm up to here after one weekend and you know why you can guess what is this Honestly, if I sprayed so much of the original Alien, I would suffocate people. But no, nobody even complimented me. Maybe after five minutes of wearing it, yes, okay. But like after 20, nobody even smelt it. So it was very cold, like minus 10, I must admit. Maybe that's why also, okay? and just not the best weather for the fragrance to perform but in general very very unhappy about this very unhappy you know some months i'm very happy some months i'm super unhappy with alien and this is how it is so this month to me alien was a flop very unhappy i'm gonna say once again very unhappy with alien all right i have gone back to this fragrance even though it's more of a summery summery one and this is Mikelev Soleil Passion. I do have a discount code for, for this beauty. So if you want it, you can get it um, with money off. Thanks to me. <laughs> but in general, this is such a nice scent. If you love um, fruity touches, if you love wild strawberry and pomegranate and whatnot, stuff like that, you're gonna love this red fruit bomb in general this is with some woodiness very very nice it is so pretty it is uh, heavy enough to be worn in winter that i will give it that's why i really enjoy it at the moment uh, of course you know the dna it's definitely more summer one but 
I, I love it at the moment as well and it lasts so well it projects it's just so bougie it's like the bougiest escada you could ever imagine you know that kind of thing like a very sophisticated escada fragrance but you know made so well so yeah Mikalev this is my favorite Mikalev at the moment and yeah if you can get it at the moment get it with my discount what do I have next oh I have these and I just need to give a shout out to these two eye palettes because <laughs> guys you're gonna be in heaven they are very inexpensive and this is a Polish brand but I, I think they do ship internationally because I saw it when I was ordering not sponsor nothing like that no 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 bought it myself this is Desi Cosmetics and I have matte palette and I have wedding palette which is called Say Yes. And guys, now look at it. By the way, I'm wearing the matte palette now, but I'll, I'll show you the, uh, it of course comes with a mirror. And now look at the colors. You gonna die. Isn't that amazing? How beautiful. Do you see those sparkles? They are almost as good as astral glitz from Pat McGrath that's the level of eyeshadow here and it's like 20 bucks maybe 25 amazing amazing guys the mattes are so buttery they just blend themselves so if, if you can get it check the website i will link it if you can get it um if it ships if they ship to your country just get it don't even think about it they have so many beautiful things and the matte palette that i'm wearing today looks like this i mean come on guys so good this you can basically have uh, Charlotte Tilbury matte shadow super nudes and Tom Ford mink mirage in one palette for 25 bucks like you will not need anything else so check them out I know not um, everyone here loves makeup as much as I do on this platform but I'm just telling you just get it and thank me later especially that it's not that expensive you know uh, okay next fragrance that I've been wearing so much is flower bomb love it at the moment love it and regret not getting a hundred ml bottle because i am planning a massive declutter next week next week for sure I'm, I'm doing it i'm doing it for sure next week and i'm gonna film it for you i want to get rid of 100 fragrances okay so you guys have to be there to keep me in check so watch that video when it launches but i've been wearing flower bomb a lot this month i love it so much I even took it skiing and I enjoy it so so much it's so long lasting to me it's just so easy but yet it makes a statement I know it's an old fragrance but it's phenomenal I love it again 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 I know I'm weird because sometimes I trash it sometimes I love it but this is the beauty of flower bomb you know it's quite polarizing believe it or not I love it though so now I use it to bits and the next fragrance that it's older and I use it to bits is of course Mont Paris I told you guys I've been using it like a crazy person and I cannot stop I'm really trying but it's hard I love it so much you know another fruit truly just like flower bomb they are both amazing and they both last so well so 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 well love them love them incredible scents all right what what is next i okay this is a more of a summery scent but guys i'm obsessed this is marbella from kana and i'm going through the sample still but but it's in there it's in there i have a big bottle too because i'm obsessed with this fragrance i am at the moment enjoying Cana Barcelona so much it's insane I am in love with Marbella Latin lover Bobo uh, Rockstar there are so many fragrances that you absolutely have to have Ibiza nights guys check them out 
again i have a discount code for kana at the moment so use it while you can it's a very nice brand i mean the packaging is not that sustainable but it's not too bad okay so i'm happy with it and they have great bottles not too expensive and again with my discount it's way better so uh, Marbella you can blind buy and Ibiza Nights you can also blind buy uh, the rest you should maybe test but uh, Marbella and Ibiza Nights go ahead and just get it I love it I've been wearing a ton of it it's fantastic I didn't even tell you how it smells right mm, it's like a fruity aquatic scent uh, with some woody touch but it is ugh, it's just marvelous just marvelous Marbella. I love it. Incredible and long lasting. For a freshie to be long lasting, it's a masterpiece, okay? It's a masterpiece just like that. I love it already. So that's that. Next, I have this. I revisited this fragrance because of my mom and I love it now. I am really into raspberry at the moment. This is Ellie Sub Girl of Now Forever. And this is like a raspberry vanilla. That's pretty much all it is. A raspberry vanilla almond, gorgeous scent. I think I need to repurchase this one also because it lasts phenomenal. This has such a good lasting power, guys. It's insane how well this lasts. I love it, I love it. Mm, the only thing is, um, it is a stronger scent for sure. And it's quite like zingy and um, it is okay if I don't over spray it but sometimes uh, when that almond and vanilla get into my nose I get a little bit nauseous and that's because it's very sweet and I am currently on Ozempic if you don't know what Ozempic is then but I'm sure you do uh, for medical reasons you know not like Kim K for medical reasons and um, it makes me very nauseous, very nauseous, guys. So when something is too, too sweet, it's bad, okay? I go to the bathroom immediately and... So it's hard sometimes to wear it, but I love it so much. I love the scent so much that I just, you know, when I don't feel good, I just... And that's it, but I love it and it's so long lasting so if you don't have it already just just get it because it's not too expensive either uh, next some makeup uh, this is new new ready Reese, and I just want to give you a confirmation if you've wondered if you should get it because you know I always give you very very blunt uh, review of makeup so if you wanted to get it get it it's only three grams, so for three grams it is quite expensive, but it is amazing. These are the Rare Beauty highlighters, and I am wearing the shade Flaunt at the moment. And I don't feel like Flaunt gets enough love online, but it's like a peachy gold shade, like a darker gold with peach undertones. And it looks dark, but it actually has a very um, almost transparent base to it. See, it pretty much makes your skin look wet. That's what it is. So flaunt is the best if you have more of a medium complexion, like me and darker, you're gonna love this. So flaunt is the one that I'm wearing today. And as you can see, it's, it pretty much looks wet. It doesn't give you much color and I also absolutely love Mesmerize which is the pinky one this is the Mesmerize one. Oh, sorry flashing you with the mirror there you go it does my one my highlighter um, cracked a little bit because they're very very soft but other than that I just need to clean it but other than that they're amazing absolutely amazing highlighters so yes i i do recommend it i mean come on guys have my cheeks ever looked that wet i don't think so so yeah amazing amazing highlighters and what i'm wearing on my lips are also my favorites um these are the anastasia beverly hills satin lipsticks and i mixed the shades praline and tease so tease is very light see like a very light pink toned nude 
and praline is more of a taupey, taupey-ish nude, but both incredible. They're on my lips right now. So that's another massive fave. Now, next fragrance fave, I, I got it recently, so obviously I wanted to test, blah, 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 but I truly love it. This is uh, Libre, 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 Libre Le Parfum. Gorgeous flanker, gorgeous flanker and very long lasting on me. This is still Libre DNA, but way less lavender and a lot of honey. So if you don't love honey, not for you. But if you like honey, if you're not bothered, you will love it. You will love it. It's amazing. It's sweet. It is very seductive. It's almost gloopy. I love it. I love that sensation in fragrances when they are almost gloopy, you know, like, like honey just dripping. You know what I mean? Lovely scent. Lovely, lovely scent. Um, and again, YSL, it's so expensive at the moment, but I did find it online with a good price. So again, I'll try to link it with a discount for you. So yeah, Libre Le Parfum. Uh, I just started using it, so obviously I didn't use much, but uh, I've worn it quite a bit. Any errand that I have, I um, mostly wear it. Uh, at least I try, you know, um, in combination with some fragrances that I have here or alone. I just love it. So good. The best flanker, in my opinion. Next fragrance that I have is from Viva Amor. And of course I have a discount for you. I always try to include those fragrances when I have the discount active because I feel like I'm gonna be too late. I'm gonna tell you too late and the discount will be gone. So yeah, you know, I'm rambling, but I hope you get my point. Now they have, I think 20 or 25% off on the website. So don't miss it. This is Creme Equis. And now if you love, mm, gentlemen Givenchy gentlemen reserve privé fragrance uh, if you love the Rome intense if you love all those um, sweet but powdery irisy fragrances that are just so sexy and intoxicating then this is very much in line with them beautiful bottle first of all again those bottles really remind me of ex nihilo bottles and uh, viva more fragrances are super deep and long lasting and this one is no exception I love this one it's like a little bit boozy uh, a little bit sweet and you get that gorgeous iris in here it is so intoxicating it is very unisex but it has enough sweetness for my girls out there so yeah creme equis one of my favorites from the brand uh, again super nice on projection so so nice so I highly recommend it Mm, I really love that whole new line that they created. Obsessed. Hashtag obsessed. So this one I've worn a lot last month. Like right when I got it in December, I started wearing it and I couldn't stop. So this is for that cold weather moments. Fantastic for that. Okay, what do I have next? Uh, last makeup item, foundation. And I'm wearing it today. And... Honestly guys, I, I hope you can see properly because I cannot see myself, but I hope you see how beautiful and full coverage yet natural the finish is. Uh, this foundation gives you instant blurring effect. It, it goes on perfectly on the skin. It's just amazing. So that's why it's a massive hit but there's a fail to it. So I'm talking about the new Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. It looks like that. And as you can see, I have two shades. I have the shade eight, uh, which is neutral. And I have the shade seven, I think. Is it seven? I think it's seven, yeah. I have this shade seven, which is warm. And now supposedly I should be a perfect match to a seven but I'm not uh, it's very yellow and it's also a little bit too light uh, whereas eight it's darker and it's way more neutral and it's pretty much perfect at the moment I mix them two because I'd like that slight yellowy touch from seven but 
the massive flop of this foundation is the shade rage it's so hard to choose your shade it's so hard to choose your undertone it makes no sense it's ridiculous what they did but the finish and the lasting power and just how it feels on the skin i mean guys i hope you can see properly how beautiful it is but it really is incredible perfect for photography perfect for filming for events amazing i love it so much at the moment that i would even say it's a perfect wedding set not scent uh foundation it's a perfect wedding foundation if you're you know getting married this year or something consider this one but you have to really test the shades because uh, it's ridiculous but yeah gorgeous foundation okay okay and i have only two more fragrances that are a hit and one miss so i have two fragrances from only nomad and these are my absolute obsessions guys i cannot i cannot uh, so the first one is bohemian soul i got this first and this is irisy a little bit beachy a little bit powdery musky fragrance but definitely with a beachy touch like a beachy vibe surfer chic kind of a vibe you know incredible scent and the one that I am um, even more head over heels is nothing but sea and sky the best fragrance ever uh, ride by Marbella like these two I know already these two are going to the best of 2023 it's beginning of Feb and I already know the best um so yeah but bohemian soul is also incredible mine is getting darker it was pretty much almost as transparent as sea and sky and now look how it looks it got way more yellowy uh, so yes if you love more powdery woody musky fragrances with enough sweetness and beachiness then get yourself bohemian but if you love basically what i love and if you want the easiest blind buy ever see and sky you will be in heaven guys you will be in heaven trust me both of these are very safe blind buys in my opinion this one see and sky is sweeter so if you like fresh but sweet then try see and sky it's just to die for it is a fragrance that i want to have till the end of my days I cannot even describe it to be honest i'm out of words with this one it's just the best simply the best fragrance so yeah i've used it a ton like look i've had it for maybe two weeks and i've already used so much and i've had bohemian for way longer and i didn't use as much of it so i love it still but sea and sky guys you have to check it out I have a coupon code and you can get samples so you can still safely blind buy the full bottle if you don't want to pay for shipping twice because I know if you test it you will want it I can assure you but if you are secure and very safe player then get samples of these because you will not regret it either way and my flop of the month is Mugla uh, the newest one angel elixir and for a simple reason now I tested it and I liked it because it smells nothing alike um, the original angel looks like this very nice bottle I must say that's for sure however guys uh, if you have black opium you don't need that if you compare it to black opium you're gonna be like god they're pretty much the same and for the price point i must say this is shite a shite thing to do from l'oreal side to pull out such fragrance you know it's still nice and wearable i'm not gonna lie i, I did enjoy wearing it um uh, it is also quite long lasting nothing bad here in terms of that but the the scent itself jk truly a joke um 
it really does remind me so much of any flanker of black opium it's you know that orange blossom gourmand shite that we all know so if you love that dna or if you collect angels then sure go ahead but if you expect it to be like a true angel elixir then you will be wronged big time big time so don't tell me i didn't warn you uh, especially when you see the price if you haven't already <laughs> um, yeah i like it i might use it in the future uh, but nothing special here guys nothing special um, it's very sad because I do like the scent but it truly isn't you know if the brand tells me oh this is the elixir of our OG best seller then you know do something well don't just lie not nice not nice so that is angel elixir I am considering this a flop especially for the price and that is it my darlings thank you so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and my little um faves and fails in terms of makeup and fragrances and see you in my next one but before you go leave me a comment um, regarding anything you've seen from the video that picked your interest or your own faves and fails for the last couple of months thank you and see you in the next one. Bye.